the same type of fish finder that I remembered seeing in the Harbor Freight catalog. This box is quite amusing. It says, hi fish, now I know where you are. It's just, you know, taunting the fish. Now they claim you can use this fish finder in a number of different ways. You can put it on a boat, obviously. You can attach it to a pole and stick it in the water. You can throw it out and use a float, or you can use it through the ice. So, this is what we get out of the box right here. We get this stuff. Take a look at what we got. We got this little thing right here. I believe it's for mounting to a boat. We get the actual fish finder itself right here. We get a little threaded bolt thing. And we get all of this stuff. I can pull it out. Let's tape in. And we get all this stuff. We get some cable right here, a little buoy, and the actual sonar device. The setup is pretty straightforward. You have a little connector right here. You just screw uh, the handheld part of this device to the cable. It's got a little seal in there. Now, upon first inspection, this seems pretty straightforward. You have a little device right here with a screen. You've got buttons. You have a bunch of cable right here and a little float thing with a sonar device on it. This device is powered by AAA batteries. I put some in. Let's fire it up and see what it does. Makes a beeping noise, all right. And there you go, the fish finder is up and working. As you can see, we have some display information up here, such as how deep the water is, the battery level, that sort of stuff. And then over here, we have a little scale uh, to kind of show you where the fish are in the water column. And down below, we have some different types of bottom structure. We have rocks and weeds. And depending on what this device thinks the structure is on the bottom, it will flash that. The screen also has a light. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, you can see there better. So if you're using this in low light conditions, such as the dark, you are able to see what you're doing. All right, enough of me blathering. Let's take this thing out in the water and see what it's like to use. Now, the way I opted to test this thing out is to basically just take the buoy and chuck it out in the water and hold the device in my hand. Since I do a lot of fishing from the shore, this makes the most sense. And according to the box, this is an acceptable way to use this device. So that is how I tested it. As you can see, I'm marking a ton of fish down there. It's just beeping up a storm. I'm reading about nine foot right out there. This looks promising. Let's get a jig on and see what we can do. I'm out here with the eye bobber today and I'm gonna catch some bruisers. Well, there's some fish rising on the surface in here. I know they're here. Here we are, we have the eye bobber, and we're in a spot where we can't use the boat's transducer to get in there, we're blocked off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this eye bobber to map out the bottom and figure out what kind of depth we're working with. The eye bobber sonar is good up to 135 feet, and it's got a fish mode, as well as a raw mapping sonar feature. And it's all gonna show up straight on your smartphone. Fish under 15 inches get an orange tag, and fish over 15 inches get a green tag. This is the only mobile sonar that can do that. So another great feature of the iBobber is the waterbed mapping. This thing is going to be able to be casted out 100 feet and map the entire bottom that's going to come straight through to your smartphone. This is actually going to show you the contour of the waterbed, all the nooks and crannies, and that's going to let you know where those big fish are hiding. So I've used the iBobber to map out how deep it is, and I've switched over to a weight, and that's allowed me to... Got him on. There he is. Oh, nice one. Thanks to the eye bobber, I was able to figure out how deep to put my bait. This beautiful largemouth bass. Let's see if we can't get another one here. Got him. Coming in. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. Oh yeah. Yes. Ten minutes with the eye bobber. There's our third fish. Real sonar pliers. This is the real sonar scale. 1.6 is about what I was thinking. I got him on. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. Thanks to the eye bobber, this is too easy. Guys, this thing is loaded with a bunch of other great features. You got a trip log on here. It's gonna allow you to record the day's events and you can even drop pins with GPS locations so that you can remember those great fishing spots. 
You guys can also log things like temperature, fishing spots, anything you want. You can even upload that to social media and send it to your friends that are stuck at the office. The iBobber has a 10 hour battery life, so this thing is gonna be good for the entire day of fishing. The iBobber is gonna make any day of fishing way better. We all have sonars, or most of us do on our boats these days, but when you have a place that you need to get into that that sonar can't read, use the iBobber. You can use the iBobber from a kayak, from your dock, or from the shore. To sum it up, anybody that loves to fish and wants to find fish needs to have an iBobber.